And um, you're a humble bloke. You're, you're a member of um, Academy Southland for a couple of years. And I think a friend of a mutual friend of ours, Logan Savory, might have helped to sort of ease the, ease the pathway there. Jason McKenzie was pretty keen for me to ask you some questions around, you know, what your initial thoughts were with the Academy. I think you might have felt like, um, you know, maybe it was not necessarily that, you know, maybe you weren't good enough at that stage to be thought of in that, in that sort of company. You know, what was it like, I guess, being included in the Academy and, and what did you get, you know, get from those couple of years? Yeah, uh, you did right, mate. Um, I remember Steve was me up for that um, program. I didn't really know what it was about. Um, and then I thought, you know, there's all this free stuff comes along with it and all this health and whatnot. So um, I, I agreed to go along with it. And then sort of get in the room and you're with all these aspiring Olympians and people who represented New Zealand and, and all this sort of carry on. And here I was just the cricketer. Um, I'm not even sure what I've done at that stage. I think the first time it came real for me a little bit was when I got uh, named in the New Zealand 19s team to go to a World Cup. And I guess that was a little bit of an aspiration of mine, but I still had no idea if I was close or not. Um, so that was always like, you know, when you do your goals planning and setting and stuff like that, that was always my dream back then. Um, but still, it was just a dream, whereas these people were actually competing at the national and international stage. And I just didn't really feel like I'd lived up to that sort of um, standard. So um, to actually make it there kind of felt quite nice because I did, I did get to that World Cup and then, um, sort of felt a little bit more like I belonged in that group. Mm, absolutely. And I, we all know, you know, cricket can be such a brutal game. You'll you'll probably fail more than you succeed, won't you? I guess there'll be aspects of um, the academy, I'm thinking particularly that the mental skills that, you know, I'm picking you probably draw on on a, on a daily basis. For sure, mate. I think the biggest thing I took out of the academy was um, you sort of, it's your first step towards professionalism. So you sort of learn that was my first instruction to strength conditioning, my first instruction to mental skills coaching, um, nutrition coaching, all things like that. And um, I never really considered much of that before. Um, so I guess there's a great introduction to that, even like media training, things like that. Um, and like if, you, if you're not doing that in an environment like the academy, then I guess you're just getting chunked on the deep end when you're um, in your chosen sport. So no, I'm extremely grateful to have those opportunities to learn and develop before I actually hit the hit those um in the in the real world, you know. 